Hi, my name is John, and I just finished the boot camp from San Francisco. I'm 35 in sales, and originally I um, hadn't thought I would need a boot camp like this. I've been a nightclub bartender for a number of years. I've been in sales my whole career. I'm an outgoing guy. I have no fear of starting up conversations. Uh, however, I realized that in my life, things have come up because of fear. I remember a business partner of mine, uh, we were meeting with a client and at that point he goes, hey, ask for the business. And it was a VP, uh, CEO level, people in the room and I panicked. And I said, okay, I, I asked, but I said, but I can give you a discount if you want because I wasn't confident in asking for what I want. So I saw this opportunity as a way to really face my fears of rejection, uh, challenge my limiting beliefs of self-worth. And uh, so this new, this past year I've been challenging fears, I've jumped off an airplane, I've gone to the boxing room with people who are much better than I have. Approaching a girl who I think is hot is scarier than all of that by magnitude of 10. So uh, for example, on our first night out, our coach Andrew said, hey John, go open up uh, those girls. And I thought they were average to cute looking, no problem. I made jokes, very comfortable with that. Because now open that girl and she was like a nine, a nine out of 10 in my eyes. And I remember I panicked. I had a drink in my hand and I literally couldn't move forward. And I was paralyzed and afterwards I said, you know what, that's never gonna happen again. I don't wanna be that guy that sees what he wants and chokes and, and gets paralyzed. And uh, so as a result, we went out the next night and day game today um, and opened up tons of girls that I think would have been nines and tens. And uh, it wasn't easy, it was still scary, but I'm proud that I did it. Uh, I think the, the other limiting belief I had coming in is that, okay, this is the Asian face, the uh, blondes and brunettes and the white girls that I'm really attracted to, they're not gonna like this. And on my phone now, I literally have maybe 15 girls numbers, all white, all pretty, from this weekend that I get to text back later. And now I'm thinking, oh, this is so much work, I'm gonna have to like sit down over a glass of wine and do all this. But uh, I'm really happy with my results. And I'll recommend this for anyone who's interested in challenging their beliefs, facing their fears, because nothing in my mind has been as scary as coming up to a girl who you think is drop dead gorgeous and then saying I think you are gorgeous and being there and just standing your ground that to me was eye-opening. I recommend this for people who from beginners to even people like me who I, I walked in I thought you know what I'm already like in me intermediate to like maybe like high intermediate I'm probably gonna get a little bit out of this but uh, I was able to see so many holes in my I guess we call it game, but really in my earned personal communications. All right, uh, when I got nervous, I would speed up my speech. I'm talking to someone I found really attractive. I, I learned that I'm, I'm a face talker, so I've learned how to back off a bit. All these little habits and um, kind of quirks of mine that I can see now looking back have gotten in the way of you know, uh, having a good conversation with somebody, getting a phone number from a girl that I liked. Those things I can see now looking back, oh, that's why that girl, uh, didn't give me her number right because I talked too fast or I was nervous so I I leaned in too close or I was too aggressive uh, but it was only because of having these coaches watch me and say hey here's what you're doing I wouldn't have been able to spot that on myself it's like you know professional coaching in any area I suppose try it out it's uh, fun it's scary uh, and it's really an investment because you know uh, if you're going to be going out, if you want to meet the love of your life, if you want to just uh, experience having more sex with women or, or women who are more attractive, it doesn't get easier than this in terms of learning it, doing it right. Uh, I wish I learned this 10 years ago and my love life would have definitely turned around.